Okay, FAQ number 38. Question comes up, was Jesus the friend of sinners? Well, uh, this statement does actually appear two times in your New Testament. We're going to look at these. Matthew chapter 11, verse 19. We're going to see about this thing. I remember hearing years ago there was this, this quote from uh, Michael W. Smith, and he was like, um, Michael W. Smith, a contemporary Christian musician, whatever. He's a contemporary musician. He's not a Christian. But, uh, I mean, a guy puts uh, runic alphabets and stuff on his on his albums and writes things backwards and stuff. Guy's a, he's a, you know, into witchcraft or Satanism, whatever. But he came out and he said that if Jesus Christ was here today, he'd be hanging out in the bars and things because he was a friend of sinners. Let's look about this. We're going to see who actually said that. Matthew chapter 11 verse uh, where are we going to say here verse 16 but whereunto shall I liken this generation it is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying we have piped unto you and ye have not danced we have mourned unto you and ye have not lamented for John came neither eating nor drinking and they say they say there he hath a devil the son of man came eating and drinking and they say Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. And it goes on in verse 20. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, did Jesus Christ say there, I am a friend of publicans and sinners? No, it was they said it. Who was the they? The Pharisees the scribes, the Sadducees, the enemies of the Lord Jesus Christ. It was not the Lord himself. Turn next to Luke chapter 7. Luke chapter 7 and verse, see where we're going to read here. We'll start at verse 33. We're going to see the same basic thing here. Luke chapter 7, verse 33, For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and ye say, He hath a devil. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and ye say, here he's you know, addressing the Pharisees. Um, see it up in verse 30 there, if you look up at there. Verse 34, And ye say, Behold, a gluttonous man and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of all her children. Verse 36, And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down and uh, sat down to meet. So you see there, Jesus is speaking to the Pharisees and he's saying, you're saying that I'm a friend of the, of the uh, publicans and sinners there. Okay? Jesus never said, I am a friend of sinners. So, you know, for people to say that, that Jesus is a friend of sinners and, and that, uh, you know, this somehow means that he would hang out where the lost people are or something like that, uh, they're not telling you the whole truth. And don't get ahead of me. I will be talking more a little, a little bit more about this thing of him being a friend of sinners, a real friend. But uh, let me just look up a verse here real quickly, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, Luke chapter 5, verse 27. Okay, you see them saying, you know, these Pharisees are saying that Jesus Christ is a friend of publicans and sinners. Where are they getting that from? Let's look here. Luke chapter 5, verse 27. And after these things, he went forth and saw a publican named Levi sitting at the receipt of custom. And he said unto him, Follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house. And there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with them. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do ye eat and drink with publicans and sinners? Remember, they call Jesus a wine-bibber and gluttonous he's there at this feast and they're saying look at that he's a friend of public or you know publicans and sinners that's where they got it from but why was jesus there look at verse 31 and jesus answering said unto them they that are whole need not a physician but they that are sick i came not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance is jesus christ a friend of sinners yes but it's not because he just wants to be cool with your sin and he'd hang out at the bar and just kind of order a few drinks to not make people feel uncomfortable. No, Jesus was there among sinners because they were sick. And notice he says this right there with the sinners being present. 
He's saying these people are not whole. You know, they're sick. That's why I'm here. I've come to call sinners to repentance. Jesus was preaching to them. So this philosophy, this modern day philosophy that Jesus was a friend of sinners, meaning he would hang out with the sodomites and not judge them, and he would hang out with the drunks and not judge them, or he'd hang out with immodestly dressed women, and he'd hang out with at sports bars and, and whatever else, and he wouldn't judge anybody. See, it's a false Christ that the modern Christians, quote unquote, they've erected this false Christ. They've, they've created this, this guy that just loves everybody and just hangs out and doesn't judge. Uh, I think that's judging that we just read there. When you get Jesus Christ there and he says, they that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Oh yeah, he's judging. Okay. And uh, what a blessed thing it is that Jesus does judge. That Jesus does have standards that he wrote down and preserved down through the centuries so that we can know what displeases the Lord and we can know what things hurt us. I sure am glad that Jesus Christ judged me for my sins and that he paid for my sins on the cross. I sure am glad about that. I'm sure I'm glad that he would have enough grace and mercy to save an old sinner like me and to call me into that state of repentance where I can say, I'm no good. I can't possibly save myself. Okay? But as a Christian, we're not supposed to be going to those places where we defile ourselves. Okay? We aren't supposed to be going and hanging out at a bar to try and, I'm going to be like the lost to win the lost. That is a satanic philosophy. Okay? There's danger out there in that world, and you're supposed to come out from among them and be separate. Again, huge study here, but I just, you know, it's an FAQ, just doing these things quickly. So, uh, was Jesus Christ a friend of sinners? Uh, yes, but he never said that, number one. Number two, the reason he was their friend is because he was there judging their sin. So don't fall for that modern Christian lie that Jesus would hang out with the lost to win the lost. 